word to him or her. But a negative thing in your life, I can't give you the word from him. It wasn't All Nations. It wasn't Third Baptist. It wasn't Bethlehem. It wasn't Church of the Living God. It wasn't any of those places. He was healed on the side of the road. Go ahead. 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 His sight was gone, but his hearing was good. When he heard that Jesus was passing by, he didn't clean himself up. He didn't put on his best suit. He didn't know. He didn't even know what Sunday it was. Go ahead. He didn't have on his black and white or his red and white or whatever the colors were. But what he knew was Jesus of Nazareth was passing by. Think about the young people and my own children. 
Well, that sometimes there's some stuff that we go through that people don't know. Yeah. But we need some help. Yeah. Yeah. And the only help that's better than mama and daddy uh -huh. is Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Jesus, I'm, I'm, I'm almost done. I didn't mean to stay there so long, but it lays on my heart. And Minister Robert knows that I talk about young people, and I talk about people in general who walk around and don't have that relationship with God. And that we walk around and we're hurting. Wow. We're, hard, we're walking around and we have these deficiencies. Wow. We're walking around and we have some real issues, but we're too proud to call on Jesus. Mm. And maybe, some, maybe somebody taught you that you're not supposed to call on. Yeah. But sometimes your situation may get so bad wow. that you can't do nothing else but call on the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes God does. I don't know how long he was blind. I don't know how long he lay there. All I know is that when he knew that there was some help, not people, but there was some real help, yeah. he didn't care what people had to say. He didn't care about how he smelled. Yeah. All he cared about was getting to Jesus. And the last point I'm going to let you go right now is that only after Jesus had delivered him and healed him. I love the way Luke 18 and 43 put it. It says that he followed Jesus down the road and glorifying God in such a way that when other people saw it, they gave praise to God. Yeah. I'll say that one more time. Go ahead. It's still in Mark, but there's a, a following of scripture in Luke, and I love the way Luke worded it. Because Mark said they followed him down the road, which was nice. He followed him in the way. He, he was now a follower of Christ. But I love the way Luke said it. He said he went away glorifying God uh, yeah. in such a way that when other people saw it, they gave praise to God. The Bible tells us to let your light so shine that men may see your good works and glorify our Father which is in heaven. Listen, I come to tell you that Brother Mayus was thankful for what Jesus had done for him. He was thankful and was willing to give Jesus what was due him. And it wasn't cars, it wasn't clothes, and it wasn't cash. Because you can't pay for what God is going to give you. You can't pay for what God is going to give you in this life and the life after. So I said again that I stopped by on a Friday night. For someone who may be feeling like you're on the side of the road. You feel like nobody is paying attention to you. You feel like that no one can help you in your situation. But let me tell you tonight that whatever you need, that God got it on tonight.
might just be a holler away. Maybe 